Okay, so today then we are looking at calculating the area of 2D shapes. Okay, area is the total space inside a shape. Okay, that's your key note. Area, total space inside a shape. Okay, so I've got some various 2D shapes here, okay. I've got four centimeters as a length and three centimeters as a width. You'll notice I have given you squares as well. Okay, area, total space inside. So here, I can just count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So my area is 12 centimeters squared because it's space inside. It's not just centimeters, centimeters is a length because we are dealing with centimetres, the area must be centimetres squared. Right, so I've counted those squares. However, we don't always get given the squares. Okay, we need to use a formula. Now, there is a relationship between the length and width to make the area, okay? Which operation have we used? Have we used divide? Have we used subtraction? Have we used addition? Have we used multiplication? We have multiplied because four times three is 12. So, Four is the length, three is the width. And that will work for every single rectangle. As long as we use the right formula, and then substitution, which means I'm going to remove the letters and put a number in. So the length is four, width is three, four times three is 12. We know that from before, so we know this form is correct. Don't forget the units of measurement on the end. Right, a square, okay? A square, I could draw the lines again and maybe count them. However, we can use a formula. I haven't labeled all four sides. And when you, when you get given this question, they won't be labeled either. Only one of them will be labeled because a square has four equal sides. So if this is four, then this one must be four as well, okay? Even if they do write it like this, I give you the question, your formula will always be length times width. Okay, but the numbers are the same, so it's four times four to make 16 centimeters squared. So we have the same formula for a rectangle and a square. Even though I've got four numbers on the outside, I'm only going to use the length and the width. Same here. This length here is four centimetres. This one here is three. If the question is given to you with all four numbers written on it, you're not going to use all four. You're just going to use the length and the width. Right, a triangle. Different formula this time. Area equals half of the base times the height. Now, as math teachers, we're a little bit lazy. We don't put the time sign, okay? When we just stick them together, we have to remember there's a time sign in between. So area equals half of the base being six multiplied by the height, which is five. Now we could do this in two different ways. We could do half of six, which is three, times five to make 15. Or we could do six times five to make 30. Half of 30 is 15. You'll notice the answer is still the same either way. So, different formula for that one. Area equals half the base times the height. Formula, substitution, answer, units. Parallelogram. Okay, very similar to a rectangle. You'll notice though, I have given you this part here. You can see it's perpendicular. Okay, it is perpendicular to the length there. I don't want this side here. If they give this, this length to you, okay, we don't need that. We need this part, okay? Ignore that bit. Let's look at these. It's very similar to a rectangle, and it's exactly the same formula. Okay, length times width again. Length is eight, width is five. Eight fives are 40. Don't forget your units of measurement, centimeter squared. That's parallelogram. Now this one is a hard one, okay? This is a trapezium. Now, trapezium, has an even more complicated formula. Okay, now this one 
is we need to half the total of A and B, bear with me, and then times that by the height. Bear with me now. This number is the A, this one is the B. Okay, with a trapezium, we have a pair of parallel lines, okay, and these parallel lines are the A and B. Substitution half of the total of A and B, which is 4 and 6. Hopefully, you can see now I've taken the letter out and I've put the number in. I times up by the height, which is 5. Well, 4 and 6 is 10, half of 10 is 5. Times it by the height, or should have used substitution then? The height was 5. Times it by 5 to make 25 centimetres squared. Okay, so we've got a couple of tough formulas there. That's your trapezium parallelogram. triangle, rectangle, and square. Okay, make a note of them. Obviously, be careful what the letters stand for. B stands for base, H is for height. You'll notice that A is in front of all of them because we are calculating the area. Okay, make a note of them. Keep practicing. Practice makes perfect. Hope it helps.